If there's nothing to hold on to. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. My, my dress flew up too. Good thing. <gasps> no, 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 no. All right, fam, I just made it to Disneyland. It's like 9 p.m. I got here a little later than anticipated, but the delay was worth it. We went to my Aunt Kathy's house for Miller Sunday Fun Day, and Maggie and Satin got the girls a dog today. So it was a little bit of a surprise to everyone, but she is so cute. Still up in the air over the name. Um, I think they decided on Dallas because that's where Satin is from. But once we had her, we're like, it just doesn't stick. So um, I want Millie. It's not even my dog, but I think Millie as an homage to Miller would be good. And we were also thinking Dolly for Dolly Parton. Um, but Dallas, I think, might stick, but it's still up in the air. But she's so cute. It's an Australian cattle hound or an australian shepherd either way cutie so i just got to my hotel i'm i still need to do my bed bug check um but like i said it's 9 p.m and i wanted to do downtown disney anyways i wanted to go to black tap and get a milkshake but like i don't feel the need to eat um but i did want to go to the disney store and get ears for tomorrow i have my basic ones that i got in January, just like a regular black and red Minnie Mouse. But since Disney is already decked out for Halloween, I kind of want Halloween-ish ears. So I wanted to go to their Disney store, check them out. So that way I'm ready to go. In my head, I want to do rope drop tomorrow. We'll see. But I want to be as prepared as possible to go straight in and get on rides tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that bed bug check. Hopefully everything works out. And then I think I'm gonna drive over to Disney Springs. I think it's free to park there. The parking lot at the hotel isn't crazy, so I know I'll get a spot when I come back. But also I'm really tired, so it might be a little quick little visit. We'll see. Okay, perfect timing. I don't know if you can see it, but I see it very well. The fireworks are happening right now. All right, made it back. It's 11 p.m. now. The way I'm holding this is just not right. Um, I did a little lap around Disney Springs. I went to the, was it, World of Disney store. In the Florida location, they have a wall of ears. They didn't have that here. It was just kind of like here and there. Um, so they didn't have what I was looking for. I did have a really cute, um, like, Hawaiian ones. It had the flower on the ears. Had them in my hand for a while, but I put them back. Um, I might get them on my second day here. I'm gonna dress mildly Halloween tomorrow and hope once I'm in Disney proper, there's gonna be another store, hopefully with a wall of ears. So we will see. Then I went to Black Tap and they have one in New York City and I've been there, it's really good. And they're known for like crazy milkshakes. I got fried pickles and chicken fingers. Couldn't finish it all, so I have my box. Um, I will have heartburn in about 10 minutes. Uh, so no milkshake tonight, but I have to leave California Adventure on Tuesday at six because they're closing it early for the Halloween party that I don't have tickets to. So I figured leave there at six, go back to Disney Springs, eat my feelings. Good morning. So rope drop is not happening. I figured I would sleep in, but then my body woke me up at 6 a.m. So I've been showering, painting my face, the works. So it's 8 a.m. right now, I'm gonna take an Uber over. So I'm still pretty much early because everyone says like between eight and 10, like the lines aren't gonna be crazy. So, and it's gonna be a full long day. So I figured rope drop for tomorrow when I only have until 6 p.m. That's when I'll do rope drop. Um, and I'll get my bearings straight today. So I'm packing a backpack. I feel like I don't need the backpack, but I do have the Mickey sweater. It's gonna be like 75 today. So I like, do I need the sweater? I don't know, my forehead is so sweaty and you could see it in high definition right now. 
Um, but I think I'll bring it anyways. That way I could put the ears in there just in case I buy new ones. I could put my other $35 ears in the backpack. But then I'll have a belt bag with the essentials. So I have like the spray sunscreen for my face, sunglasses, wallet, um, all that good stuff. I'm wearing my black flame candle, unique vintage, hocus pocus shirt, some leggings from Yvette Sports, and then the Torrid slip-on shoes. I've had these for a while though, so they're a little, not threadbare, but I probably should have gotten like a Dr. Scholl's insert because I'm gonna be on my feet all day. Ooh, the lighting in this place is not great, Bob. So, I'm gonna head to Disney. I'm already sweating. Let's go do this. Hello, so I did two rides that I didn't get to do last year. Last year, one, I had an ear infection, and two, a few things were closed. So I started the day with Indiana Jones. That was so fun. I will definitely do that again today. Then I did Pirates of the Caribbean, and that one was definitely closed last time I was here, and my butt is still wet from that. So I got some beignets, and then I was gonna eat them in line at the Haunted Mansion, but the Haunted Mansion line is like 80 minutes long, and I don't know if I wanna commit to that right now so i'm gonna get in line for thunder mountain railroad you can't see it behind my giant head um and then maybe revisit haunted mansion i'm pretty much going in a giant circle today again i have nothing like i need to do and unfortunately space mountain is closed today so they can decorate for halloween so that is my favorite ride but it's closed today so there's really nothing i'm dying to do so i'm just like casually putzing around which is a great way to do Disney. So after like 20 minutes of waiting in line at Big Thunder Mountain, it was down for maintenance, so we got kicked out of line. I'm gonna go down Main Street USA and check out the stores, see if I can get something a little bit more Halloween. Then I'll probably do the Matterhorn. Also eat again. These are the main Halloween ones, but I don't know if I want them. Hey cutie. <laughs> I ate so much today. I think there's only room left in me for a churro. And you kind of have to. Also, I was like, I think I need to be taken out of here in a stretcher. My feet are killing me. And I think I'm gonna stay for like two more hours. So it's gonna be bad. Okay, I can't believe I made it out as long as I did. My feet are falling off. Can we get the pumpkin and the castle behind me? And my giant head. Yes, we did it. Okay, day two, I did not wash my hair or shower. <laughs> you get what you get. So it is 7 a.m. I think rope drop is at 7.30, so we're doing it, or at least we're trying. Um, my Uber was only $6, amazing. Some guy tried to like circumvent Uber last night and be like, $25 down the street. And I was like, sir, and I got an $8 Uber and I tipped that guy pretty much 100%. Um, but yeah, stop trying to scam me. I get it, but like, stop. Oh my God, guys. It's only 8.30, I've done two rides. So rope drop started at 8 a.m. I was there at 7.30, so we all just had to wait there until they literally dropped the rope. You <laughs> look insane. Everyone, everyone ran for the Cars Radiator Racers. So by the time we all got there, it already had a 75 minute wait. And we we're the first ones in the park. Um, so luckily I overheard a girl go single riders and the guy's like right over here. So we were the first three single riders. So we literally walked right on. There was already a 75 minute wait. We walked right on the ride. I was done with that ride at 8.15. I just did the Incredicoaster. I was in the front row. Again, walked right on. I look insane. I look like I got hit by a car. Um, that was so fun. It goes upside down, which is kind of weird because they just let you have your backpack between your legs, but that was so fun. I'm a big roller coaster thrill ride girl, so 
that was amazing. I'll probably do that again if the lines stay the way they are. Whew. Um, so there's this Mickey Ferris wheel, but some of the gondolas slide throughout the ride and then they're swinging. <laughs> uh, they're swinging around. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that, but I'll probably do it. So I would say Incredicoaster is my favorite so far. I've only done two, but that was amazing. I'm gonna do their version of the Tower of Terror, which is Guardians of the Galaxy now. Um, and then I heard Soren is good. So it's only 8.30, I've done two amazing rides. I am very happy. Okay, do you see that? Ooh. I'm on the Ferris wheel and they give you a choice of swinging versus non-swinging. And I must be a glutton for pain because I chose swinging. Um, there's nothing to hold on to. Oh, yo, my God. Oh my God, my God. My, my dress flew up too. Good thing. No, 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 no. I don't like this. Do you have any further questions? I literally made them stop the ride. And they kind of brought me back up and I was like, wait, no, no, no. And then they brought it backwards, let me off. And now I'm on a non-swinging one. I'm still not jazzed about heights, but that swing on these rickety ass doors. No thanks, no thanks. I was <laughs> trying to grip onto anything, but whew, if you are not good with heights, choose no swing. This is the third go around. And I don't know how many times we're gonna do this. Let's see if we can get someone screaming and swinging like I was. Oh, <laughs> there's a little kid, there we go. Look at that swing! No! Nope! No. So far I've done so good with wait times. Like, everything for me has been five minutes. I just checked ending credit coaster, which again took me five minutes, is now 35 minutes. So I had a good rhythm line-wise, so I'm very happy about that. I would also like to get off this Ferris wheel. The swinging does not look that bad from here, but when you're in there, you feel everything. I couldn't find Halloween ears, but I did get little Hawaiian ones. So these are gonna be my ears today. I know myself and I know I shouldn't get on a swinging ride like this. 12 seconds later. I made it on. I ended up on the swings. I'm very glad I faced my fears because that was a lot of fun. So I was just on Soarin'. We get into our seatbelts and then they're like, oh, the ride is broken. So at least we got like a fast pass or something, some kind of like skip the line ticket, but like we just put our seatbelts on. So a little disappointing. I'm hoping it, you know, gets fixed within the next couple of hours and I can do it today because everyone said that's really good. I've never tried it, but I know it's like hyped up. I am giddy after that one. So that was Guardians of the Galaxy, formerly known as Tower of Terror. I have done Tower of Terror since probably I was gonna say 1999, but probably 2011. And I remember it being like, you go through, then there's like a drop that scares you and then they do the real drop. Um, that was like 10 drops. They did like the main one, but they did a lot to scare us. And obviously with Guardians of the Galaxy, they're playing all the good music. Um, we had a good cart. Everyone was screaming, everyone was dancing. It was so fun. There was literally like a three-year-old girl in the front row though. And I'm like, oh my God, she's never gonna talk to her parents again because my dad, brought me on free fall at Six Flags Great Adventure when I was like four. It hasn't been the same since. Um, but she looked like she had a good time, but that was so fun. And I used my Lightning Lane free pass for that one. So I've pretty much done every ride except for Soren, but I'm gonna loop back. It's only like 11, so I'm gonna go eat a corn dog. I'm eating bacon mac and cheese and what I think is like a pretzel cone. Next time I complain about my clothes not fitting, this is why, but it's so worth it. I just asked this group of friends for a photo in front of the Ferris wheel and he was doing really good. Like he knew what he was doing. You know how I always complain, no one knows what they're doing. He knows what he's doing. Then he goes, I work here. I'm like, yes, I got a good one, finally. Okay, so I just had black tap again. I had chips and queso and then I had a huge 
crazy shake. So it's not just a milkshake. They put a bunch of stuff on there. She brought out like three spoons. I'm like, oh no, it's just me. And I ate the whole thing. Um, <laughs> not something to be proud of. I am done for the day. I've spent a lot of money in the past three days. So it's time to go home, back to San Diego. This is gonna be a long ride, but I'm excited to put my feet up in about two and a half hours.